네, 여러분 오래 기다려주셨습니다. 가급적이면 앞쪽부터 자리를 채워주시면 감사를 드리겠습니다. 지금부터 개막 행사의 메인 순서인 기조 강연을 시작하도록 하겠는데요. 기조 강연은 파라마운트 픽처스의 세계적인 미래학자 테드 슐로위치가 준비하고 있습니다. 디지털 영화 카메라 전문 제작사인 레드 디지털 시네마의 핵심 제품을 개발했고요. 20세기 폭스에서 시각적 스토리텔링을 예술과 과학, 기술적으로 발전시켜온 기술 전문가이자 미래학자입니다. 그럼 테드 슐로위치를 무대 위로 모시겠습니다. 큰 박수를 부탁드리겠습니다. 안녕하세요. Good morning. Yeah, that's all I got, Korea. Um, I'm very happy to be here in Korea today. Um, this is part of a trip uh, to this part of the world. I was just in Japan for a few days and now in Korea. Uh, before we get started, I, I want to just say a couple of things before we officially start the talk. Uh, that I'm thrilled to be in South Korea. I've been here many times before. I've had quite an interesting life with technology here. And I would think that out of all the places in the world I've visited, and I've visited many places in the world, I would say that Korea and the Korean people probably embrace innovation and new things and new challenges better than any other culture I've ever seen. So I admire your challenge and your risk and your desire to see what's new. Uh, so, consumida. <laughs> I also, Chuck, will you stand up? I also want to thank my good friend Chuck, who asked me to come here from the United States. He's uh, a very, very good friend. And we've been through many technology journeys together, and this is just the most current one. And I'm very proud of him. He, was, uh, he won the Venice Film Festival for uh, his work in VR, which he's going to talk about in a little while. OK, shall we get started? OK, so here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like everybody to stand up for me, because we're going to do a small experiment. Some of you have seen my talks, you know. Please stand up. Now, I presume everyone here has a smartphone, right? In Korea, it would be hard to imagine that none of you have a smartphone, right? So everyone, if you have a smartphone, take it out and show me nice and high. We're going to try a small experiment, a small what I call futurist experiment. I'm going to explain what I do for a living. I work for a large movie studio. So everybody has one, right? This is not just a smartphone. This is actually your own personal pocket robot. So I'm going to ask you to indulge me in a small experiment. I've never done this in Korea before, and I'm curious with the translation how it goes. But if you wouldn't mind, take your smartphone and hand it to your neighbor. So check, you can do me and I can do you if you want. Come on up here. And you can maybe swap with the photographer. So he's going to take mine. I'm going to take his. Now take your, everybody swapped, everybody change. Take your new phone, put it in your pocket. Now have a seat. Everybody sit. How's everyone feeling? A little nervous? A little concerned? That we've removed more than just a piece of technology from you, correct? We've removed part of your humanity. This is way more than just technology today. This does everything for us, and it's with us constantly. So that's how we're going to start our presentation. The trick, the goal here, is to see how long you can hold out without your cell phone, with someone else's cell phone, OK? Nervous? <laughs> see how it goes. So today what we're going to talk about is the augmented and virtualized human, the fact that our human bodies have been augmented with technology. Technology is no longer just a piece of the story. It is the story of our current human form. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So try and imagine, some of you maybe can imagine this better than others, that you ended up in prison tonight, in jail. Possible, right? Maybe not for most, but for some. Now, if you didn't have your phone, if you had someone else's phone, in the United States, they take your phone away when they take you to jail. So who would you call if you didn't have your phone? Maybe you know one or two phone numbers, your parents' phone number. But your robot, your smartphone, knows everyone else's phone number, right? Think about the last time you drove anywhere without using navigation, even places you know how to go to. You ask your robot, your second brain, to tell you where to go. That's why this is so critical. It's way more than just technology. 
It's now part of how we think. We allow technology to let us think. I just died because I was doing the video instead of paying attention to playing the game. So I'll do another run of the game and show you a little more game fun in a moment. So that's what this device does. Who's interested in that? You want to do that, yeah? It's super fun. It's amazing. And we're just getting started. But this, to me, is the real formulation. It's got the tenets of the Wii. It's got all the joy of VR. You're still in the real world. You understand where you are in the real world. And when they get this right, this is a really big opportunity for those that want to play early in it. So that's my talk. Um, if you liked what I had to say and you were curious, I said, oh, I'd like to remember some of the things he said. When I was giving a talk in Silicon Valley, they drew a cartoon of me giving the talk. So if you want to take a picture of that, you can kind of remember, oh, those are all the things he talked about and why it's important. That's, that's the whole last hour in like a cartoon. So you've got that. And we got the picture? Okay. And lastly, this is in my wallet. You can see it. It's in my wallet. With time, the impossible will become the possible. I got it in a Chinese restaurant in New York City late at night. Words to live by, it's in my wallet. This is what I think about every day. Nothing in our world that we create from an entertainment, socialization, productivity, help for the world, have a good time in the world, is impossible. It's all completely possible with time. And we're starting to see more and more clues of what's coming. So get ready. I have no doubt Korea will be a big part of this equation. I know that some of my friends with some very large companies, one of the largest companies in the world, starts with an S, is deeply involved in mixed reality. They haven't talked about anything publicly, they haven't released anything publicly, but they are 100% doing things in mixed reality, and what they're doing is going to be remarkable. Just like the way that Apple and that Samsung company do things and create the world that we live in today, they're creating the next world we're getting ready to live in. So, thank you all. It was a wonderful morning. It was fun to spend time with you, and I look forward to the day. 네, 여러분 큰 박수 부탁드리겠습니다. 감사합니다. 패드의 실로 위치였습니다. 고맙습니다. 땡큐. 과거부터 지금까지